So you're looking at getting to kegging, you've got the approval from your wife, and you're looking at maybe a Craigslist score or buying something new, but you haven't considered the fact that you got to buy a fridge, and sometimes that can be a deal breaker. So I'm going to introduce to you the non-committer. The non-committer gives you a chance to kind of try before you buy, and um, much like a mullet, it's business on the outside, party on the inside. Uh, you have two ways to go about this. You can ask for spousal permission to convert this, and in the history of this design, it's never been granted. So let's go to option two, which is do first and ask for forgiveness later. If there's one thing I know about women, they freak out when they see rough cut lumber in their refrigerator. Uh, in my small sample size of three, you're going to spend about a night and a half on the couch for this one, but it's totally worth it. So let's go ahead and take a look inside. As you can see, the non-committer is pretty basic. What we did is we took out an existing shelf, we took a piece of OSB, you could take some plywood, and we cut a notch for the keg. The non-committer is good because well, we can keep food in here, but we can also keep a keg at the same time. It's about 40 Fahrenheit, which is great for both beer and food. You'll see here, I opted to go with a paintball regulator. Uh, I, I am a big fan of that, but just the same, you could recharge it as you took uh, pints out of the keg or you could snake in some CO2 from the side. If you wanted to class up the operation a little bit, you could maybe laminate the top of this OSB or paint it white, but uh, for its purpose and for its investment, it works really well for what it is.